Hello friends, and welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Julie Marie. Please join us every Thursday at 12 o'clock for new stories and activities. Now, grab a cozy spot and join me for the Storytime song, just like we do at the museum. It goes to the tune of this old man. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now take a seat and give a Let's begin with our first book. Good job, everybody. Our book today was written and illustrated by Michael Hall. The title is Red, a Crayon Story. He was red, but he wasn't very good at it. Oh, dear. His teachers thought he needed a little more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry and you draw a red strawberry. You can do it, really. But he couldn't really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one. A really orange one. But they made a big greenish one? Yuck. Oops. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice! It's so you! But it so wasn't. Oh dear me. Goldy, teal, purple, orange, and green all made their self-portraits without any problem. But poor Red. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's even Red at all. Don't be silly. That's what it says on his label. He came from the factory that way. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy. Right? He's got to press harder. Really apply himself. Give him time. He'll catch on. Of course he will. But he didn't catch on. Green frog, black sheep, brown cow, red, ah! It's not red ant, it's not quite red. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. I taped him up right there. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. But even with all their help and all his hard work, red hearts, red cherries, red fox, red toes, hmm. He just couldn't get the hang of it. Can you imagine if our stop signs look like this? One day, he met a new friend. Hmm, will you help make a blue ocean for my boat? Big boat. I can't, I'm red. Will you try? Do you think he's gonna try? So he did. Thank you, it's perfect. You're welcome. It was easy. And he didn't stop there. Blue bells, blue bird, blue jeans, blue whales, blueberries. <gasps> I'm blue! He was blue. And everyone was 
talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorite. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. What's going on with Red? He's blue. Have you ever been called one thing and realized that that's not who you are? Did you ever think about how you want to imagine yourself and define yourself? Well, this week, my family did that. I asked everyone in my family to draw a picture of themselves using crayon. And I welcome you to do the same thing. My daughter, my son, my husband, and myself. Now take a piece of paper and some crayons and draw you the way that you see yourself. Now, when you have the opportunity, go and check out our website and see lots and lots of portraits in our collection. One portrait that I thought a lot about while I was reading this book is Dawn by an artist named Salomon. It's actually a chalk drawing, and if you look at it, you can see there's a lot of color in just a very few strokes. So take a look at the lines as you explore and see how the artist takes little bits of light color and little bits of dark color to make the different shapes of the face. Now think about this when you're drawing your own self-portrait or portraits of other people in your family. I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope you'll join us every Thursday at 12 o'clock for more stories here with Annette. Have a great day. Bye everybody. Thank you.